So we've been thinking about this for a couple thousand years, back to the Greeks, guys. What about the existence of life elsewhere in other places in the cosmos? Where do you think we stand in a kind of a state-of-the-art moment where we are now thinking about life in the cosmos? So it's always so strange to imagine that already more than 2,000 years ago, people were already discussing the problem of, of the plurality of worlds and still more the plurality of possible life in other places in the universe. So it was not exoplanet at the time, it was a philosophical uh, discussion of other worlds. But today we have proved that at least the first part of the sentence we have proof that we have many, many planets. Probably the best uh, estimation that every star should have a planetary system. So this was discovered almost 30 years ago, but right now we have more than 5,000 exoplanets. So it's huge. This is extremely common. And we can ask the question, why you continue to search planets if you already have 5,000? It's simply that we have discovered the, what is called the diversity of planetary system. They are not similar to the solar system. They are extremely different. You have incredible uh, objects. For example, you have planets orbiting so close to the star that the silicates, the rocks, are melted. So it's lava planet. A little bit further, you have ocean planet. Planet made mostly from water, and so on. You have you have gases, giant planet, Jupiter, and so on. You have an icy planet. And what is uh, probably closer to the discussion of this night, you have rocky planet. We start to discover planet with ro made from rocks. And this is absolutely fantastic. Also, we, not only the parameters of the orbit are quite different, but from hours to, to, to decades, but also some... Okay, in the solar system, most of the, all the giant planets are orbiting almost on circular orbit. But what we have discovered, sometimes we have planets like this, with extremely elongated. So we are far to have understood completely the formation of planetary system. But the next question is, no, do we have the possibility to discover planet with condition suitable for the development of the complex chemistry of life. And this is typically the, the reason of this discussion. What is the status? What we can dream to, to, to discover? What is the difficulty? What kind of instrumentation and so on? And then the next very more difficult question, do we have the capability to dis discover a planet with uh, technically advanced uh, society, and this is a problem of intelligent life in the universe. So this is the goal of this question, this discussion. Yeah, I would simply add that we know the famous Drake equation, which gives the probability of different processes up to the formation of life and then formation of intelligent life, right? And I think one of the key, key parameters in this equation, which has been clarified the last 50, 60, or 100 years, maybe less than 100 years, is that star formation, formation of chemical elements, which are ingredients of life, and planet formation process are universal, which means in our galaxy, in different galaxies, and everywhere we are talking about the same physics, exactly the same physics, for forming stars, planets, and definitely molecules, and the most complex molecules. So we, we know the ingredients to form life are common in the universe. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, CNO, etc. So, and these are the most stable and easy forming molecules. So naturally, they will be common everywhere. All planets should have water in the form of ice, or water vapor, whatever, because it's a very stable molecule. And then they will have methane, they will have ozone, they will have a carbon dioxide, everything. So I think it was a key knowledge which came very recently, thousand years of after Greek philosophers were just imagining how oh, there is life in the universe, etc. Now we have a clear knowledge that these processes are universal. 
and no, we are not talking about one or two planets to harbor uh, conditions for life, but we are talking about billions of planets, potentially billions of planets, which can have necessary conditions, liquid water, biomarkers, etc., to host uh, life. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. maybe one addition to what is there. Uh, okay, it's not the place to, disc to, to describe the detailed process to form planets. But in the middle of the last century, the middle of the 20th century, people realize that the formation of planets is a residue of the collapse of big, big cloud of, of gas like Orion Nebula and so on. So you form huge generation of planets with numerous planets and so on. So, in, in, and always you have an excess of rotation of, of the gas. So this is the origin of the disk of dust and gas to form new generation of planets. So planets, planetary system are simply a byproduct of the formation of stars. So this is the reason why we believe that we, yeah. we should have billion and hundreds of billion of planets in the, in the Milky Way. Sorry. Exactly, yeah.